Hi, this is Preston DeGuise, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Networker to recover multiple virtual machines simultaneously. To be honest, I actually hadn't thought you could do this until a colleague mentioned it to me, and I think it's particularly handy to know about in an emergency. So to kick this off, use the Virtual Machine Recovery option in Networker Management Console. Once you've chosen to do a virtual machine recovery, switch to the Browse a Virtual Machine Backup tab. Here you can see a tree view of the virtual machines that have been backed up. To start the multiple virtual machine recovery process, select two or more virtual machines. Here you can choose which backup you want to recover from for each virtual machine you selected. Use the left right arrows to cycle between the virtual machines and pick the backups that you want. When you're recovering multiple virtual machines, you choose between reverting them, which does a changed block tracking recovery, or a standard virtual machine recovery, which lets you recover to an alternate location. I'm going to do a standard virtual machine recovery. Here's where it gets fun. Using the left right arrows again, you can switch between each selected virtual machine and choose its recovery parameters, where it gets recovered to, what the recovered virtual machine is named, and so on. I'm going to recover each of these virtual machines with Rec1 appended to the name, and they'll all be recovered into my testing resource group. For each virtual machine, I can use the left-right arrows to choose which data domain I want to recover from. I'm going to recover all of these from the same data domain. Right, now that we've configured the recovery, let's get it going. With the operation started, Networker is going to get all the selected virtual machines recovered for us. Now, because I'm working against a home lab server, the recovery will take about 10 or 15 minutes to pull back around 70 gigabytes of data. You'll note Networker gives you a drop-down selector next to the recovery log option. This lets you switch between the different recoveries to see the individual virtual machine logs. Later in the recovery process, I'll show you this, but in the interim, I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. At this point, the first virtual machine in the drop-down list has been recovered and Networker populates the recovery log for me. I'll keep the video sped up for another 30 seconds or so, then we'll look at switching between the recovery logs. Let's switch between the logs. You'll see that two recoveries have been completed. I'll speed up again through to the end of the other two recoveries now.
Network is showing 100% recovery completion. It'll do some finalization of the last virtual machine, and once it's displayed the recovery log, we'll know it's all complete. And there you have it, all four virtual machines recovered from a single networker operation. So let's now switch across to vCenter and confirm those four virtual machines exist in the testing resource group. Here you can see the testing resource group and there's four virtual machines, Cent38, Cent48, Krell and Vulcan, all with Rec1 at the end of their names. So that's a successful recovery. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the blog for more information.